got the boys taking the body kit off for me. We're gonna paint this thing pretty soon yeah. here. We got all the help. No, we're gonna paint it white just like it is. There are handy things about having a four-year-old. Fits under the back of the car pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, this didn't take long to deteriorate. The help is taken to the old lift the guy with the jack trick. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's been about a year since I've been working on this car. Uh, last time I was out with it, it was at Mary Hill, Hill Climb in Goldendale, Washington. Um, I'm finally getting going on it because I kind of took the year off with COVID and spent most of last year doing carts with my seven-year-old. So he turns eight this year, so he'll be able to race. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description, so check that out. I also bought a cart, so I did put a couple videos up. Uh, of me driving that for the first time it's savage anyways um what i'm up to right now is pulling everything off here so i can paint it but in the middle of it i've got some carbonetics uh headlight deletes so that saves about nine pounds off the front of the car so i'm just installing those and then uh, i'm gonna get into sanding and priming repriming the bumper and as you can see I've got most stuff off right now kids helped me with that yesterday um, and then I'm gonna get this thing painted so that I can do uh, a bit of a wrap on it and get some more decals get it redone get the car looking actually decent rather than a primer princess like it's been for the last few years anyways enjoy the video all right it's a week or so later I've been working on fenders and hoods, all the parts. Um, fixed up a bunch of little cracks and dings and stuff from life slash hitting a wall. Anyways, I'll show you what we're up to here. So the bumper was cracked here and here, and then just a few little nicks and stuff that uh, I fixed up. The hood had a chunk out of it here from when I hit the wall. The rear fenders are fine. I just uh, trimmed the mounting flange so it was more even and smoothed out the back of it on both of them. And then this front fender was in pretty good shape. There was only uh, just a crack right here along where this seam is. So I fixed that up. And other than that, it's all, all ready for paint. We're just gonna, I think maybe prime it today. And then there's a little nick out of the front corner of this fender, so I fixed that up. These holes got ripped when the lower control arm broke at Area 27. And the fender, the tire ran into the fender, which also cracked here. So that's all fixed up. And it had the same crack along the bottom of here. So yeah, just a light scuff of a sand left and uh, we'll get to painting it. Just gonna clean out the garage, make sure we got no dust in here, and then uh, give these one final wash. Get all the oil and grease and whatever's on this thing off. I'm gonna wash all this stuff and then get ready to prime it. All right. Rinse them off one last time. And then uh, we'll get a coat of primer on them and we can see how our race car quality bodywork is. Oh, I've sprung a leak. All right, so I've wiped everything down with wax and grease remover. And I'm gonna let her sit and dry for a bit. But I think everything should be ready to go and uh, pull my latches out of the hood and then I'll be able to spray some primer. Yeah, cans are the worst.
I got it. I'm just getting ready. No, it's not to 12. Anyways. Man, that's ignorant to pour. We should almost pour that in something else and then pour it out of there. Right? Mm -hmm. Spot there on the bottom. A little bit goofy right here, eh? Okay? Couple lines. Well, we're painting. I'm gonna paint the hood now, which I'm kind of stressed out about because it's like the only part that I actually care if it looks good. The rest of it will be all right because I might hit a wall. primer it's actually looking pretty damn good pretty happy with that because I didn't spend a whole lot of time on body work and then we'll let this dry for a day and then we'll give it a quick sand and hit it with the color put the old man cleaning up the gun <laughs> okay it's the next day and I'm just wet sanding these parts. A couple little spots we'll have to touch up. But uh, it's looking really good. This one I just finished, it's perfect. And it looks really awesome. So, be hitting it with color this weekend. Got the hood left to sand here. And the uh, rear fender. Sweating down the floor and tack cloth and everything, and then we're gonna spray it. They're all hung up, so it's a little easier to spray the color. All right, we're mixing paint. There's the white. Actually, got a little bit of a little bit of silver in it or something. Which one are you looking at? That one. Yeah. yeah.
four parts of paint, one part of hardener, <coughs> and two parts of reducer. Then you're going to the second pot. Yep. There we go. Get Lord Co there a little two bits worth in there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pour it in here. And put it on that stuff. Okay, first try was not great. We got brutal runs. So we're gonna let this dry and wet sand it and try again. It'll be a day or so before we can do that, but the hood laying flat looks good though. But anything that was on its side, even though I, you can still see through it, it ran pretty bad, so. Look at that, that's terrible. All right, round two. All right, we're getting ready for round two on the paint. The hood looks really good. But I had to sand some drips out of everything else because I went way too heavy on the first coat. But uh, it might actually be smoother than it was before now. So just letting everything dry off. I rinsed it all off after I sanded it and then uh, we're gonna put another coat on and hopefully put all the coats on. Okay, I'm on my fourth coat. I did some real thin ones because I didn't want to sand anymore. Um, compressor's running, so I'm out here right now. 
I'm gonna do one more coat. I didn't film a lot because I was thinking real hard about not screwing this up. Apparently my mask doesn't really keep anything out. Um, I'll, once that compressor turns off, I'll uh, show you where we're at in there, but so far it looks really good. All right, we're washing down the floor one more time. It's uh, turning out really, really nice now. Took me a little bit of figuring to get the quantity of paint on the right level, but. All right, well, I got her this time. It is very shiny. You can uh, read my watch in it. It's got a little bit orange peel, but like <laughs> race car, don't care, especially considering how many runs I had in it yesterday. I've got the door open because it's so high in here, so we can't really see that well, but it's uh, really good. Cannot complain. So now we'll let her dry and then we'll get it back on the car and see if we can put a wrap on it. All right, we're back from painting it. Griffin's helping me put it back together. Other way, Goof. Other way. There you go, yeah, that way. Griffin's helping me put it back together. And then uh, I'm gonna wrap it, but I'll do that one in a separate video because this one's probably getting kind of long. Yeah. So we'll get this all put on and uh, figure out how, what we're going to do for a livery. All right. I wasn't going to bolt it all back together right now, but I couldn't resist. So got her. I don't have the side splitters on, but got all the bolts put it on there. Put this all together. It's actually, I got to drill one hole here to hold this in. So this panel gap isn't an inch, but uh, yeah. Really happy with the paint and everything looks really good. It doesn't match the old white of the car perfectly, even though it was the same color code, but that's pretty typical with white. And there's gonna be a bunch of things going on here that will make it so you probably can't even tell. Anyways, glad to have this painted. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.